the Canadian Press. Researchers at the University of Western Ontario in London have been given FDA approval to do human testing of a, a new HIV vaccine. The researchers have been uh, developing this vaccine for about 10 years at a cost of $10 million so far. Um, what's interesting about this one is that it's using killed whole virus, um, which means they've genetically altered it, then they've used chemicals, and then they've used radiation to make it non-pathogenic, which means that it, it can't give somebody uh, HIV. That kind of vaccine has been made before. They use killed whole virus for polio, for uh, Japanese encephalitis, rabies, hepatitis A. So the strategy is kind of an old strategy, but they're trying to do it with a, a new spin on it. Well, as one expert said to me, this has got to be taken in context. The first phase one trial is for safety only, and it's only in a small number of people, 40 people who actually have HIV, so they want to make sure there are no adverse effects before they go to phase two, which would be to see if the vaccine actually uh, creates an immune response. Then there's phase three, and that would be to see if, the, if it's actually efficacious or effective in preventing HIV in the, in the subjects who get the vaccine. Dr. Chil Yong Kong is quite confident that the whole, the killed whole virus is the way to go. I mean, there are wrinkles here. The AIDS virus, the HIV, is quite a different virus. It's called a retrovirus. It acts differently than a straight polio or hepatitis A. But still, um, as, as that other expert I talked to said, you know, we need lots of approaches in science or we're not going to get anywhere. The Canadian Press.